What is up, YouTube? YouTube! Mr. King coming at you live from the studio. So here are the questions for the day. Please pause the video now and answer them in your bell work. Next, here are some announcements. Grades are up to date, so please check them. And then note, Thanksgiving break is next week. And number three, a lot of people have missing assignments, including the attendance surveys. I did put two in the gradebook last week, and a lot of people have zeros because they didn't do them. What we're going to be doing today, analyze change in a moth population over time. So here is the scenario. You're going to see natural selection in action. Today, you're going to be a predator. Everyone will be a bird who is eating moths for survival, and you're going to witness survival of the fittest in real time. So please go to Google Classroom, go to Classwork, and then go to Monday. Natural Selection Gizmo right here, and then click Natural Selection Gizmo Worksheet. It should look something like this. Okay, one and two, you should already know. And then click on this link. Now, if you remember your login, please go here. I do. But if you don't remember your login, there are instructions right here to make your own account. Use this code. OK. So once you log in, go to My Classes. And then you should have some simulations. Find Natural Selection, and then hit Launch. Yep, so when you hit launch, it should look something like this. Now, here is how you play. So you got a description right here. It'll tell you how many moths you capture, and click play. Your cursor is going to be the moth, the bird. So I don't see any moths, so I'll click next tree. And I see a white moth and two dark moths, so I click on them to kill them. Boom, boom. And you're trying to get as many moths as you can to survive. The light moths are really hard to see. So then right here, it'll say how many moths you captured that year. So that was number one. I got six dark moths and three light ones. Now keep playing with all the light trees. So remember, you click to kill a moth, and then you click next tree if you can't find one. Okay, this is that last one. Once you're ready, note camouflage is coloring or patterns that help an organism blend in. If a forest contained mostly light colored trees, what type of moth would be most common or like around the most? And then three, predict over time what will happen to the populations of light and dark moths on light trees. And then once you answer, answer those questions, you're ready for the experiment. This is my data. You don't need it. You'll get your own. Once you're ready, you can either do the experiment in light or dark trees. It's up to you. I'm going to do mine with dark. And then click table right here. This will help you for number four. So you notice the dark moss and light moss start out 50-50. And then you're going to see what happens to dark moss and light moss over time. Cool, so I got three dark moss and nine light moss. And now here are the new percents. Now 61% of the moth population is dark and 39% is light. You're gonna keep doing this until you finish all five years. Once your table is full, please copy it over here. And then you should have enough data to answer the rest of the questions. Yep, everyone, thank you for staying with me the whole time. That's all we're doing today. Please finish that worksheet and then take the attendance survey when you're done. Thank you so much. Have a great day.